What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another tutorial video. I've recently installed Windows 11 to my gaming PC. I didn't upgrade it, install a fresh copy instead. So I happened to come across a couple of issues with software, drivers, etc. One of those issues were installing the Logitech gaming software with Windows 11. It's not allowed and Logitech haven't created a Windows 11 version yet. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how to install the drivers for the Logitech G29 gaming wheel. This is applicable for G920 and 923 as well. So first, you have to download the drivers from the Logitech website itself. And you can just Google it like this. And here is an unpaid advertisement from Filmora itself. Anyway, back to the topic. So once you load the website, you can clearly see that their latest version is only supporting Windows 10. But that's okay. Download the 64-bit version. And while it's downloading, this is applicable for the Logitech G Hub as well, because those are two different softwares. It's not allowed to install G Hub in Windows 11 just like this. I checked and I personally don't recommend G Hub because it has many issues for different games. As an example, a lot of my friends had issues with uh, G Hub for the Formula One game. So they switched to this uh, gaming software. So once it's download, you just have to double click and make sure that it's, it's installed. But it says the application is not compatible with Windows 11. That's the issue. So let's fix it. Go to settings or control panel in all terms. Once you get there, you have to select privacy and security on the left side. And once you select that, you have to select Windows security. And once you've done that, you have to select device security. And once you select that, uh, there will be three options, co-isolation, security processor, and secure boot. You have to select the first option, co-isolation. And you have to switch this memory integrity property off. It's already off here, but when you do it, you will be asked to restart your computer. Remember, this is just a temporary fix until Logitech releases a compatible drivers for Windows 11. That's it. That's all you have to do. Then you can go back to your download folder and double click on the Logitech gaming software installer and it will work just like this. No issues, no error messages. And once you've done that, uh, it will allow you to install the Logitech gaming software and you can access it from here from the taskbar. And it's like this. And you're all set now. You can create profiles. Uh, According to each game, you can change properties, you can change buttons, likewise. So uh, I can uh, make another video of on creating profiles and all. But uh, that's it for today. Hope this will be helpful for you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.